Okay, so we want to talk about who the best three characters are in Attack on Titan and the worst three characters in Attack on Titan. So let's actually start with worst because I like getting those over with. <laughs> so I think you just love talking about who you hate. I do, actually. And anyone who has seen some of the other videos that we've done know I hate Armin. <laughs> um, like a lot, like a ton. I'm trying to... He is definitely... <sighs> I feel like he has to be tied with one, so I'm going to have, like, four. That's fine. Because they're pretty bad. Zeke. I get, I get four then, too. Sucks. Zeke sucks. He's definitely number one hated one. I so hate bottom. He's or number bottom. last. Yeah, he's number last. last. <laughs> number last. Uh, then I would say Gabby, but she's, like, basically tied with Zeke, like, barely above. And then Flock would be barely above her. And then Armin is tied with flock <laughs> i can't dude i get that you hate armin and i totally accept it but tied with flock though, fine he's a tiny bit higher than flock like here's the thing about flock he's my like bottom 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 yeah I zeke hate, is worse i zeke freaking hate, hate flock dude flock gabby and zeke are my least favorite three too but i think maybe the order is just a little different but maybe not it depends on the scene sometimes like no zeke is my least favorite character and then other times I'm like, no, Gabby for, I can't hate anyone more than I hate Gabby. No, Flock is like the biggest jerk on the planet. Like, I hate him. Well, it's true. He's super annoying. But Zeke, every time I see him, no, I just. I know. I hate Zeke too. He's the worst. The absolute worst. And he doesn't have any like really redeeming, like his backstory isn't that touching. No, it's stupid. Like people can't possibly sympathize with his backstory. No, I feel like you can't. There's nothing about it that even, like, I feel like is worth even talking about. Like, I, I have no words to even, like. <laughs> <laughs> we just hate Zeke, okay? He's, he's, we'll just put him dead last. His backstory is just dumb because he literally meets some random person and, like, plays catch. Then goes home, doesn't even talk to his parents about, like, wanting to play catch or do fun things. He's just like, oh, my gosh, guess what I did? And he's like, oh, you're home. Let's study. And then Zeke doesn't say anything. He's like, I hate my parents. Like, and then he talks about, <laughs> yeah, he, like, betrays him. Like, are you kidding me? For no reason. Like, because this old guy tells him to. I like, mean, it's pretty bad. Zeke's, Zeke's it's just choices are like, pretty dark. Zeke like, is so yeah. dumb. I hate Zeke. Yeah, I think we agree. We'll put Zeke last. But then Gabby and Flock, they're interchangeable for me. Gabby is annoying, but I try to understand where she's coming from from her perspective of like right that's why she's on the same level whatever as flock. <laughs> flock just betrays he is just he's but <sighs> he's a coward and he's annoying and he's like on the same level as zenitsu there i know that <laughs> i know that he believes that he's doing the right thing like i think that he is pretty certain that he's in the right he is annoying like when they come and attack marley and gene's like you're still saying that like yeah. And he's like, they're just the people who, <laughs> yeah. like, live here or whatever, you know, like, whatever I feel he like says. Flock is, like, he has a small perspective. I feel like he's a small-minded person. Yeah, he is. And that bugs me. And same with Gabby. She, like, refuses to acknowledge what's, like, right, right in front of her face. Right. She's, yeah. And even when Falco's, like, like Explaining we did to that her. to them first. Right. That's why Aaron's pissed. Yeah. That's why he came to kill all of us. It's but, like justified. But, <laughs> no, I have to talk him. about that, though. That's not why he... He doesn't attack them because they attacked him first. That's not what it's about. We can't say that because that'll be a whole nother argument and that's not right. Okay. <laughs> You're right. Do you agree? The I agree. Okay. I agree. I'm like, that's literally, Aaron, Aaron doesn't Aaron, attack them. I give Aaron more credit than that for sure. Okay. Aaron's a deeper character than that. Well, he is. He even tells Reiner in that moment, like... Oh, I do remember vaguely saying that to you. Just forget right. about it. Like, he's, he's it's literally mature. not about revenge. That's not what it's about anymore for him. Like, yeah. Okay, cool. Well, we can agree with that then. Cool. So, okay. But I think we agree. Yeah. The, the worst Fine. Three. The bottom three are for sure them, but Armin yeah. is next. So, uh, sorry, for, guys. For sorry. Her, for her. Sorry, all of you. I, I would put I a lot I just don't like Armin. I just don't like him. I just don't like him. Okay. And I think he should have died instead of Ervin, but that'll be another conversation for later, too. Okay, fine. Ervin should have died because... Can you imagine him as the Colossal Titan? <laughs> he, would, he would be sexy, dude. Ervin with just muscle. Uh, with just and muscle. fire and steam. Yeah. I would have been all about that. That would have been awesome. Anyway. 
Okay. It had to be Armin because that's what Isayama decided. Well, I feel like for the character to progress how it did, it had to have been. Otherwise, Plus, Levi made a choice. And it wasn't about Armin. It was about Aerobi. Awesome. Okay, so now for the top three. Top three. Go for it. Well, ugh, the order is hard for me, but I would say, okay, for me, it's actually about four. Again, I can't. <laughs> three is too hard. So I would say it's between Levi, Commander Ervin, Aaron, and Reiner. I'd have to try to somehow pick where they rank between those four. I don't know. See, my struggle is between third place. Is it is it Reiner or is it Hanji? But I think just for the sake of like like character development and like character suffering, I would probably say it's Reiner just because he's a little bit more like in depth, I think. Like there's more to him that the that the viewer or the reader mm-hmm. knows. So I think you kind of connect with him differently. But Hanji's an awesome character. So I think Hanji I would say great, yeah. I would say Levi. And then I would say Erving. And then I would say Lina. Those are the three. In that order. Is that your order too? Except you know. have Aaron in there. I know. There. Where, I know. Aaron's not I top love three. Aaron. Aaron is awesome. He's a good character. He's not top three though. Well, that's why he's in my top four. I don't know for sure if he's four or not. I can't decide yet. You can have you can tie him. They're all with tied for first. I don't Lina if you want. It depends on the day. It depends on like my mood. If someone was like, What's your favorite? I could maybe tell you like who was above the other one. It depends on the day or it depends on like what you're reading at the moment. Because you've reread the manga like a ton, right? Yeah. Or if you're watching the anime, it's right? hard. Does it have, it's... Like, different... Okay, tell me this. It's hard. In the manga, do you like Reiner and Aaron the same? Or do you like one more than the other in the manga? Because that's where we should really, we should be basing it off the manga. I feel like Reiner wins, dude. I feel like Reiner has They're to win. They're almost exactly tied. Like, literally exactly tied. I can't decide. I feel like that's wrong. I feel like you're wrong. I'm not wrong. <laughs> you're right about Levi and Aravine being first and second. I feel like Aaron's not third. I feel like all four of them are tied in first, though. Oh, so. no. <laughs> Oh, we super disagree about that. We su- Nobody is above Levi. No. Levi is awesome, but so is, so are the other three. That but I there's mentioned. a reason why we don't have segments called the 12 months of Aaron and Reiner. Well, and I would do Aaron. that, but you didn't agree to those, so. No, because Levi... Levi was born on Christmas, and it was really about Christmas to begin with, so he won. No, it just happened to be like a magical thing that he was born on Christmas because Levi Right, and we love Christmas so much. He deserves an honorific <laughs> episode every month. First month of Levi, uh, second month, all the way up to Levi 12. is pretty awesome. Right, and we didn't do that for anyone else. That means he's but number I one. But I could. I could for all three other characters. No. I could have special what would Aaron's? What would Aaron's first month of Aaron be? Well, he could do his backstory. No, compare you would compare you. That's embarrassing. You would compare Aaron's backstory to Levi's backstory. I could compare it. Aaron's childhood compared to Levi's childhood. Aaron's I'm not like saying it's butter- the same. Aaron's like a butterfly that was like my cocoon I, was so hard to break out. He's a butterfly. Levi is. A he watched his dinosaur. mom get eaten by a titan, dude. I'm not saying it's the same Do exact thing you that Levi went through. Honestly, think it's worse for Aaron to have lived like. 12 happy years with his mother and then watch her get eaten rather than grow up in a brothel and watch your mother die of like syphilis or whatever it was when you're a child levi never left the room he never left the brothel dude that his childhood was a hundred million times more dramatic i wasn't and traumatizing i literally just said that they were not the same (laughs) we're arguing over nothing (laughs) I need you to say. Edit all of that out. <laughs> Aaron does not get 12 days. 12 I'm months saying of that we could talk about Aaron's backstory. I never said it was comparable. No, but to I'm Levi's. saying the reason why Levi gets 12 months of Levi is because he deserves it. Aaron doesn't. Aaron does too, but that's about the manga. So we'll talk about that later. <laughs> Fine. No spoilers. I won't come for that day. <laughs> oh, my. Fine. I'll have Reiner here to back me up and (laughs) 
maybe I'll yeah, have... he won't want to do the 12 months that's of when marriage. i'll have someone else come to yeah he does okay are you kidding me at the end he says aaron's the man spoiler alert <laughs> yo we gotta cut that out <laughs> For me, all four of them are basically tied. I really can't. I can't decide. Yeah, you're wrong about that, though. Levi, Possibly. nobody's above Levi. I don't even care if you put everyone else second place, but Levi is first place. Levi and I don't even awesome. care if that's cliche. It, the reason that Levi is so popular is because he's number one. He's the best. Like, I don't, it doesn't bug me that everyone's Well, he like, is, but he wouldn't even be there without Commander Irvin, so... Yeah, but Ervin wouldn't be there without Levi either. Think about it. Sure, he would. He was already the commander. No, but he okay, he wasn't actually the commander, to but he, he got to. Humanity. Would Maybe not more have people even would have died without him, but including Ervin, probably. Levi never saved Ervin. We don't know that they had like yeah, years. Yeah, did it of... show? <laughs> <laughs> Fine, it's not canon, <laughs> but I assume there were times where Levi came a little bit to Ervin's rescue. He didn't. He didn't fine i asked him <laughs> you asked levi or yeah both of them <laughs> <laughs> they both said no <laughs> okay <laughs> that's the end okay so... actually if i remember correctly levi oh tries to kill ervin and can't no he gives up the fight you want to talk about that <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because Levi could have totally killed him if he had No, he couldn't have. He, he tried. Ervin stopped to. him with his bare hands. <laughs> <laughs> I like I like Ervin, dude. He's cool. Uh, dude, the too. best moment. Well, okay. we should talk about that in the other episodes, but Okay. One of the best mm-hmm. moments of Attack on Titan is when Ervin gets his arm cut off. Definitely. Chopped bitten off. Oh yeah. Top moment for sure. And he's just like Sushime! Is yeah, that what he said? my favorite, yeah. It's really sexy. Yeah. All my kids actually yell that to me, too. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but... Okay, so we decided, though. Okay. We're just going to put Levi at the top, yep. and then number two is Ervin and some other people. That's fine. Reiner has to be there. You Reiner. Want Reiner. We both agree, Ryan. I say Ryan. Ryan. You say... <laughs> I say Ryan. You said Ryan. We both, we both agree, agree, Ryan. Reiner. <laughs> We both agree Reiner, and then I think Aaron, and you think Hanji. Which I do like Hanji. She's next. She's number five for me. Or number two, I guess, depending on how you're (laughs) looking at it. Okay. Uh, And then bottom three, Flock, Gabby, Zeke, Zeke, in whatever order. Yeah. Whoever wishes to put them. I agree. I want to know how much hate we're going to get for this. I don't think people will disagree with us on this one, actually. I think this is pretty mainstream. The Aaron thing. Well, except people apparently love Armin. Someone no, please Armin, tell me no, that he's, he's your favorite not, character, please. He's like, not top what? three. No, not no. at all. No, no, no. He's no. like bottom four. And if, he is, <laughs> <laughs> and if he is your top three, I that's fine. Whatever. I did, we both disagree. It's too. not. Fine. I don't. I don't hate Armin as much as, but I. I don't hate Armin. That's where oh, N. How am I? That's like, where N comes. In and is wrong. Uh, mm. You don't hate him as much as me. See, I'm telling you. She's like brainwashing she hates him. me. I'm being like gaslighted into hating Armin. <laughs> We're like, yeah, I've always hated Armin. How did we, when did that start? Always. Anyway. It's okay. true. It's just so easy. I think we hit it on the head. Yeah, we I don't think, have to talk about it. I think we won it. Yeah, I think it's good. I don't think we're going to get any hate for this one. But Reiner, you think people like Reiner that much? Um, yeah, I do. I think people appreciate Reiner's struggle. Um, no, I think people like Reiner a lot. I think people appreciate what he's been through. And I definitely think that people can relate to the struggle of like, okay, like we all don't like good people, right? We can all relate to like not getting along with someone who's not a bad person, but to us, they're like an enemy, even though we know like they're just a regular person like, living their lives. to humanity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So- <laughs> I think we're right, <laughs> and I think you should agree with us, <laughs> or I think you will agree with us. I, you shouldn't just bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> <laughs>